I've, I've just done this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on. Where are up. Let's get a good look. Yeah, so you're gonna. I think you say Oliver, come around the back of your Thanks, could you remind that? So where are the questions come up? So we're going to minimise the screen a little bit because you don't need to look at yourself that big. So you, you'll scroll down here. Oh, the questions will be here? Yeah. Oh. I'll be on your status. Okay, I'll put the link there. If um, you go down to this page, we'll click on this. Okay, so you can see the Live chat with me now. Post your questions on this status and click here to watch me answer. It's old. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, it's delayed. So you probably want to close those windows as well so that you don't get audio, All these. audio feedback. Yeah. So close that one? Yep. I'll close that one to the other one, the YouTube one. Oh, you want to close this? Yeah. yeah. So what's he going to be looking at? Oh, that, that's, that's not the um, live chat one. Oh, I closed the wrong one. Just back here, then. No, I just closed the wrong one. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so we can minimize this. Um, this is up anyway. There's a mess. And have you got sand? Hello. It's going to be delayed, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's a picture of your mind. Yep. That cool. sounds good. So we'll just wait a few minutes and then we'll click. Have you done a Twitter? No. You need to post the link. What's the link? Just send it to you in an email. I was probably on Facebook, I could have just went straight to Facebook, copied it. And... Yeah, but you're going to be live straight away. Where did my safari go? Here behind that. No, here behind this one. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it there, your Facebook. Uh, yeah. But I had. Um... Do a tweet because by the time people. Live chat with me now, seven thirty to eight o'clock. Theta pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen quick here to watch me answer them. Is that Sandra up? Watch it here or something. After what chat now, watch it here. On Facebook, on my Facebook status.
Couldn't I just do that on anyway? HTTPS YouTube, couldn't I just click on that? Yep. So it doesn't matter if it's on Facebook anyway, they can just do it off the web, but then it will come up here. There's one view of no, the channel that's there. Yeah. No, that's because you have to be have a Google Plus account to write. On this YouTube thing? Oh, okay. They won't just be able to So you can just watch it, but you can't ask questions. You'll be able to write a comment on YouTube. Okay, Damien can yeah, keep it refreshed if there's a lot of comments, you can it. turn it your way. Gotcha. But you want to write one here? Ideally. You ready? Yeah, no. So I'll see how many viewers come on. Yeah. But this will say. So just like people that click into the link will see. That's cool. Yeah. That's what you want, because otherwise you're just talking to yourself. Yeah. Why are you talking to me? Yeah, you get out of So I see. Yeah, so you're going to know when viewers come on. It's going to be delayed too, so I wouldn't What's the best way to refresh Facebook? To keep it refreshed? Just to refresh. I've got four viewers. Hello to my four viewers. One minute. I'm going to start at 7.30, up to six viewers, up to ten viewers. I'm going to start with some of these questions then. Hmm. All right, we may as well start. Hey everyone, thanks for coming on. All right, I'm going to go through some of these questions. So the first one is from Dean. And Dean asks when we'll be driving a Mustang. So um, I'm not really sure when we're going to drive a Mustang. It's, uh, it's in the pipeworks, I think. The, the problem is that it's a um, it's a two door car, so having a a two door car in the in the V8 is, is one of the issues. So I think um, if we can get past that rule, that'll help a lot. But the uh, yeah, they have to sort of allow us to do that first. But I reckon it'll be between them or uh, or the uh, the Mondeo or the Focus. So I'm not really sure what we'll do, but I'd love to see a Mustang, that'd be pretty cool. All right, Carl's just written, when will Red Bull go broke? I hope they go broke. I don't think they will, but um, the owner's got too much money. But uh, yeah, we just want to beat them. It's their, um, they've got the upper hand at the moment. Would I ever change manufacturer? And that's from Brendan. Um, no, I love Ford. I've signed with Ford for a few years, so um, this is my I think it's my tenth year with the team, and I've only ever driven Ford, so don't really uh, want to go anywhere else. But um, it depends on if Ford stay in the sport. I guess they determine whether we uh, whether we drive a Ford or not. But I think they'll stay in the sport for a long time. Christine has written, "How do you cope with nerves?" I'm all right because I'm an old bloke now, so I'm not too bad. But um, the young fellas like Chazzy and those guys, they get a little bit sick in the guts. But um, this is my 11th year or 12th year, so I'm not not too bad. Normally just uh, like to hang out with the engineer and have a chat and with the physio and just have a laugh. But some of the younger guys, they um, yeah, they want to 
get a little bit sick in the tummy, but I'm not too bad. Linda asked how, or Sam, he's aged eight and wants to know how you got started. I started in go-karting, so I um, won a raffle in a local uh, supermarket raffle and uh, yeah, won a go-kart for $2. So we went and picked it up, oh, sorry, it was peewee for $2 and then rode the peewee, sold the peewee and then uh, and bought a go-kart and then went go-kart racing. So. It was um, yeah, two dollar ticket got it all started. But if you're gonna want to race, you're starting go karts and yeah, have fun and that's sort of how you get into it. Norman, hey Norman, I'm not gonna sing for you tonight. And you asked, has Renee ever had a hot lap? She did, and she said to me that she thought they went faster than what it actually did. So that was a bit of a slap in the face. But I tried my best and. Uh, didn't impress, but we're already married, so it didn't matter. Matthew has said, are you concerned that FPR doesn't seem to have the pace to challenge AAA for this year? We um, yeah, didn't have a good run. I think the, uh, the car wasn't as good as it, it probably thought it would be at Adelaide, and uh, I think the AAA have steps, stepped up. We, uh, we've maintained the same speed but at the same time I've got a new engineer so when you have a new engineer you've just got to try and really uh, work through it and we got the car pretty good for the last race but we kept breaking front roll bars which um, which when you break a front roll bar really affects it so I think if I didn't break that I almost had the quickest lap of the last race so actually was um, pretty happy with the car but yeah triple eight are going well but I think yeah, I think we'll get there we um, We've got the Grand Prix and then we've got Tassie and Tassie's been very good so we just need a good result we'll get back um, get back on it. Uh, what do we got? Nicholas, can you come to a school in Bendigo? We go up there water skiing so maybe we'll try and do it one day, we'll try and fit it in. Rohan, do you think Ford are in a weaker position this year overall with driver changes? I think, I think we're in a pretty good position. Um, I think that uh, Chaz is a good asset to the team. Whether he got a good result on the weekend or not, he's got the right attitude. And I think for four guys, our team are going to benefit from having the four guys we've got. Jack didn't have a good round either, but um, yeah, I think he he's a good young bloke, and we're all working well together. And that's probably what we've lacked in the past. So having the four guys, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot better for the team. Just it takes a little bit of time when things transition, but I think we'll uh, we'll be okay. Marcus said, "What is your best livery out of the Mercedes Benz and the Nissan and the Volvo?" I reckon the best livery is uh, I like Dave Reynolds is probably the best one with the gold wheels. I really like the the gold wheels. I reckon the Volvo is a bit ugly, and I think the um, with the big rear wing, but they're fast, so it doesn't matter what they look like, they seem to be going okay. And the Holden, I could never like a Holden, so can't say they're too good. The new format, James has asked about Clipsal. Um, the format was, uh, I like the 250 kilometre races, I'm not a big fan of the, the split, but the atmosphere on Saturday night was pretty cool. I don't know if it caught it on TV or not, but um, when McLaughlin passed, um, Wink up for the for second, the crowd were really going off, and I don't think they'd do that as much if it was just 250k. So I think the two races were probably a bit better than what um, than what the one was from a fan point of view. But um, I prefer the two 250k. I'm not a fan of the short one. Now Chev has asked, do you think the acceleration zone is a dangerous idea, and should it be more? Like the F1 restarts, I think the the safety car restarts was was ridiculous. But um, we raised concerns to the officials, and I thought it was dangerous. But um, they they didn't listen, and eventually they sort of they're going to change it now, I'm sure. But um, yeah, what what happened wasn't very good. So I think uh, they need to listen to the drivers a bit more, and not not just create ideas which, um, yeah, I think it was silly. The F1 cars get away with it because they don't sit nose to tail. They have big gaps. So, um, yeah, anyway. 
Um, Stuart's asked, what car would you really want to drive? I think if you mean a road car, there's um, there's lots of road cars, but in terms of a race car, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see what the other cars are like because I've only ever driven a Ford and for this team, but um, I feel like I was cheating if I did that, so I couldn't, couldn't really do that. Samantha has asked, uh, what are your thoughts on Volvo? And thanks for cheering me from 7.8. But um, the Volvos are good. They've got very good engines. They're um, they've got a good driver. I think McLaughlin's a really good young guy, and they've got um, a really good aero package. Out of all the aerodynamics, out of all the cars, I think the best, or I know the best one out there is is the Volvo. So um, it's a bit scary to think what they're going to do at a track like Tassie or Bathurst because um, they've got fast engines and slippery cars. They handle well. Um, yeah, they're going to be uh, they're going to be very quick. Uh, Luke's asked, "What does my car do from zero to 100 kilometres an hour?" So, our cars do um, on a soft tyre with a 3.7 diff, about 3.3.4, 3.5 seconds. So, they're reasonably quick compared to a uh, a road car. You know, something like a Porsche 911 will do four. 4.2, 4.3, something like that. So it's um, yeah, it's pretty quick. But the the main speed is actually when uh, when you're braking. That's that's when the cars feel really impressive. So it's more the braking than the acceleration. Trent has asked how good my helmet is because he painted it. It's um, yeah, it's pretty good, mate. I can't give you too much for praise on here. Josh has asked what the relationship between me and Craig Lowndes is after the last two rounds. Um, it's not too bad. I think, um, you know, when you start a new year, you have everyone sort of start from a clean slate. So um, he'll crash into someone else and they'll have a rivalry and I'll crash into someone else and have one. So you sort of, it doesn't really carry over. I think people, you know, the fans hold sometimes a, a grudge a bit more than what the drivers do, but um, unfortunately he was too far ahead of me on the on the weekend, but there'll be times when we're battling and uh, I'm definitely not going to move over for him and he won't do the same, so I'm sure there's going to be more fireworks throughout the year, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with them when they, when they happen again, I'm sure. Luke's asked what horsepower our cars have. We have about 650 horsepower and that's um, that's pretty much what it's been for the last few years. We haven't really got much more speed because our engines are pretty much at their limit and that's where the new guys, the Volvos and the Mercedes and the uh, the Nissans have got a fair bit of room to improve because they, uh, they're they only at the start of their development where we're at the end of it. So that's the, that's the nervous thing at the moment about um, where we're at with, with horsepower. Kian has asked, any idea what co-driver plans are for the Pertec Enduro Cup? Um, we're probably pretty close to announcing who I'm going to drive with. We've obviously seen that uh, Paul Morris has signed with Chaz, which um, is good for Chaz. Uh, it's created a fair bit of controversy on the when you read it, but uh, you know I think he, he should do a pretty good, pretty good job. But um, yeah, he's not with me, so I'm not sure who or when we're going to announce it. Um, Andrew has asked, with the championship so open this year, what change have you made that is going to put you on top of the podium? Um, I guess after Adelaide, we uh, we need to make some changes, there's no doubt. I've got a new engineer, and um, we, we made some good improvements. So the yeah, problem is our car at the moment is weak under brakes, and I think we are a bit aero deficient. So... Um, as a sport, I think we're pushing to help to help try and get that rule changed. Um, but uh, you know, my engineer was very good on the weekend. We just seemed to be a day behind. I think another day we would have shown a bit more promise. But um, saying that, I still qualified in the top five both days, and that's pretty good for a day when you think you're struggling. So um, we'll make uh, we'll make some changes. Another question from Caden, what would be your favourite track? Um, the best track is uh, definitely Bathurst, it's, um, it's just incredible. You can't really explain how good Bathurst is until you go and 
do a lap. But the good thing is you, you can actually go and drive around it like it's a part of the road. So if you ever get the chance and you're in Bathurst, make sure you, you do it because uh, it's um, yeah, an incredible track and uh, you, you can't really appreciate it until you go and do a lap of it. Uh, Luke has asked, are you still good mates with Will or are you just rivals now? Yeah, Will's Will's all right. He, um, you know, he. When you're working together, it's different to when you're racing each other. But um, yeah, Will's you know, a pretty pretty friendly guy and pretty easy to get along with. But he, um, when you're racing them, you when you got your helmet on, even when you're teammates and stuff, you're still trying to beat each other. So um, you know, you respect each other. But whether you're teammates or not, you're still trying to beat each other on on track. T Bear has asked when the speed is coming and why can't the team hit the ground running? I think we actually hit the ground running not too bad. We we maintained our speed from last year, but the triple eight cars have have you know moved forward and so have the Volvo. So when you look at the weekend behind the triple eight cars, I was actually not not too bad, um, and the Volvo. So if it wasn't for them making a big step up, we would have been quite competitive, but. Um, yeah, we do have a little bit of work to do. There's no doubt, but I'm confident we'll. You know, it's only round one. We're around six in the points. When we fix it, we'll. Uh, you know, we'll come back pretty strong, get some points. Dylan has asked, "How does it feel being back racing?" And am I looking forward to coming to New Zealand? It's been. It's really good to come back racing. You you wait a couple of months to to really you know get back on track and. Uh, you know, you, you you're pretty excited, but it was it was a bit hard on the weekend because you come back and you you think your car is going to be at the front of the field, and it was a bit harder than what probably I expected Adelaide to be. But that just means it's a challenge, and um, yeah, when you're challenged, you you get hungry and you want to come back and work hard. So Grand Prix will be good, and New Zealand was very good last year for us. So yeah, we'll just keep working hard and keep enjoying it. Vanessa has said, my seven-year-old boy got a photo with you in Sydney. A couple of weeks ago, how do you cope with the demand for your attention on race days? Race days are really hard. I think Adelaide is um, by far the toughest, and you, you get pushed so hard with all the commercial commitments that um, you, you don't really get to see many of the fans much and get photos and stuff. And it's that's the one thing I don't like about Clipsal. But um, you know, it's, it's great seeing, especially kids. The kids are the best. They Come up and tell you exactly what they think and tell you how it is. And um, yeah, kids are really cool. I really like spending time with the kids. Maddie has asked how much more work is needed to make the car perform to its best and keep up with the Red Bull. Because you've proved in a great performing car, you can keep it up with Wing Cup. Yes, yeah, oh, I don't think we're too far away to be honest. It, it, you know, it's, the, the biggest issue on the weekend was breaking roll bars, and I broke two front roll bars, and that's. Um, you know, I was lucky to finish fourth on Saturday, and that's when I dropped all my lap time. And um, yeah, we need to make sure that we don't have componentry failures like that. But I think the car is going to be quite good, and I, I really think at the Grand Prix we can we can go strong, and I think we can win at Tassie. There's no doubt that you know Tassie's always been good for us, and uh, the way the car finished at Adelaide, that's how I want to start it, and. Um, you know, I think we can win at Tassie. There's no doubt that we'll bounce back. Uh, Chris has asked, if you could choose anyone, who would you like to drive with in the Enduros? Um, I don't really know. I think you know, you want you want guys that are easy to, easy to work with, and that's why <coughs> Richo was was good to work with. Um, you know, but I also enjoyed I, I enjoy running with a young bloke too because um, you know we've all been that young guy at some stage and. Having uh, um, you know helping a young guy and potentially winning with him that would be pretty cool as well. So although there's all these experienced guys, um, yeah, there's always the young blokes as well that you wouldn't mind having a, an opportunity with. Pete's asked, would I have Glenn Seaton as my enduro partner? Maybe ten years ago I would have, but um, he's probably a bit past his time now, and I don't know. He's still a I don't know. He'd still go probably okay, but. Um, yeah, he's probably a little bit past, so I don't think you'd really want to do it either. But um, yeah, I was always a big Cedo fan, so I would have loved to drive with him back in the day for sure. Um, 
Larissa has asked, out of all the drivers, how did you get involved with Disney? My five-year-old loves me. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, it was pretty well that the V8 Supercars had the, um, the the truck tour, Mac the truck tour, and they wanted a family man to do it and someone who loves kids and wasn't fake and really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, they phoned me and I was wrapped to do it. It wasn't about money. A lot of the other guys wanted money. It was about um, the opportunity and, and having fun and seeing kids and, you know, it wasn't about the movie because that wasn't part of it back then. And eventually the movie uh, was was after that and then um, that was an incredible experience as well. So I just loved the, the kids part of it and, uh, you, know, it, it's, you know, I reckon the kids are the best part of the sport. So doing something like that was, was, a, was a no-brainer. It was good fun to be involved with. Geordie's asked what I thought of Nick Percat hitting me into the wall. I think I owe Nick Percat one, and I think um, there'll be a day when he'll be on the outside of me. And uh, and yeah, I think you know he had plenty of room. He bounced off the curb and pushed me in the fence. But you know, we'll see what happens. He, um, you know, everyone's racing hard out there, so you you um, I'm sure it'll happen back in return one day, and we'll see uh, see what happens out of it. Jason's asked, can you please win the championship this year? I hope so. I think, um, yeah, we have some work to do, no doubt, but it's only round one. I'm position six. That's a lot better than what I've started in pretty well most other years. So, um, yeah, I think we can win it. Don't give up, uh, you know, faith yet. Some people have written us off already after one round, which is unbelievable, but um, it will bounce back. We're always... Do it. Our team's very good at fighting, and um, we'll bounce back. There's no doubt. And with the four drivers we've got and the team, I think we can definitely do it. Alan's asked, "Do I have any advice for a young guy that wants to get into the engineering mechanic side?" Uh, a lot of our guys come out of um, dealerships or mechanical engineering, and if they go to uni, the best program to do is the uh, um, the SAE program and get into that, it's, um, that's where a lot of our guys have come from, so whether they're driving or engineering or um, mechanicing, that's a good way to come in if you want to be an engineer, and if you want to be a, a mechanic, um, coming through a dealership and applying with a team is the, is the best way. And, um, we do apprenticeships at work as well, so there's always a good opportunity if you contact the team, and um, that, that's the best way to do it. Brent has asked, do you think there should be a cap on the amount of new makes and what are your views about the massive loss that will no doubt happen when V8 Supercars swap to pay TV? Do you think that V8 Supercars should change the rules to allow two doors to race? Um, I think uh, whenever you see manufacturers um, or teams, sorry, leaving the sport, that the best way to keep them in would be to bring a new manufacturer in. So if you look at Gary Rogers, they've now got factory support by, by Volvo. Um, you know, you, you see Dalberto's not on the grid this year, you see Jonathan Webb, it's, it's an expensive industry and manufacturer support is definitely needed, so um, I don't think they should put a cap on it, but, uh, you know, as long as Holden and Ford are, are still there, um, that's, that's a priority, so um, keep the two people that have had the history and, um, yeah, the others, you know, are going to build their own history, but I don't think they should put a cap on it. Zach has asked, do you and all the drivers want the GC600 to stay? Uh, the GC600, I think, has just signed a new deal. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. I think, you know, we need that race for our, uh, for our championship, and it's one of my most enjoyable ones. So definitely uh, want to keep that one. But Queensland government are the best government out of everyone, and I don't think they'll let it, let it go. So... Um, I'm pretty sure it'll stay for years to come. Josh has asked, do you think the Grand Prix should be for points? The only reason the Grand Prix isn't for points is because of the telecast. And obviously next year with Channel 10 coming on board, that would allow the Grand Prix to be for points. So, um, yeah, I think it should be for points. I don't think we should ever race not for points. And, um, you know, I take the Grand Prix very serious and so do all the other teams. So we all go there, you see the cars... Crash, we're all trying to win. Um, you know, it should be for points. It costs the same amount to go racing. 
whether it's for points or not. So, um, yeah, I think definitely for points. Marks asked, do you think stealing Richo was a way of Roland to get back on you? Also, all teams are doing new developments. Are we doing this and you think we will be back on the pace? Um, I don't know if Roland uh, stole him, but we stole his Bathurst trophy, so you can have Richo and I'll have the trophy. I don't really mind too much. We won it, so... Um, you know, Richo's decision was to go there, but Richo is such a good guy, you could never, you know, be upset at him for for going somewhere. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to find a good replacement and hopefully beat them and make him feel like he should have stayed with us and that's the only way to really make it make it feel better. But, you know, driving with Lowndes in a triple eight car, it's a pretty inviting opportunity. So, um, yeah, he, he, I'm sure it'll go well. Jess has asked, Jess has asked, will I ever get back in a karting? I don't think so. I think um, probably when the kids race, that's about the only way I'll get back into karting. But um, I finally just got all the lumps and bumps out of my body from when I was young racing. So the V8 has got power steering and comfy seats. So, um, yeah, we have it too good these days. Karting was pretty rough on the old body. Des has asked, did Holden receive an engine upgrade from V8s this year? Um, I don't think so. I think they've found a bit of speed, um, but uh, the cars are definitely more aerodynamic than what our car is. So um, you know, we have to work very hard to to make our engines quick to um, you know to, to sort of keep up with the the aerodynamics. So um, yeah, I think well, we have some improvements to do anyway. Nico has asked if I've ever met Mark Webb. I actually have. I sat next to Mark on a flight to Tassie of all places and uh, he's the most genuine bloke I've ever met in my life and um, follows the sport, um, really yeah, gave me some good advice and uh, yeah, really, really nice guy. I couldn't believe how friendly he was, so massive supporter after that and yeah, really good bloke. Dan's asked how Brasilia... Oh, how, Brazil, how the Brazil race deal come about and any chance of a NASCAR road course cameo? Um, you must be reading my emails, Dan, but um, the Brazil race uh, was through an engineer over there and uh, incredible opportunity. So get I got the, the email through and asked if I was interested in doing it and had to get approval from all the sponsors and the, the team and everyone like that, and then once they said yes, um, went from there, so it was really cool to get the opportunity, and I can't wait to go, it's two days over, uh, or after the Grand Prix, so um, I get to race against Rubens Barrichello, and Felipe Massa, and N Nelson PK Jr., Bruno Drinkera, um, Gary Paffert, all these guys that are all European champions, it's it's a pretty cool opportunity to see where I'm at on the, on the world stage, and the cars are very equal, and the teammate that I'm racing with was fifth in testing. So it looks like it could be a pretty, uh, pretty cool opportunity. But my, my priority is to come straight back and win in Tassie as well. So, um, but pretty cool opportunity. Luke said, when he's older, I really want to race V8 supercars. Do I have any tips that would help him become a V8 supercar driver? Um, with the, I guess one of the best things that you can do now is the Shannon supercar. Showdown. It uh, uh, gives young guys and girls a, an opportunity, and through our team, you know, you get a test drive and stuff like that. So, if you race in the in the cards or in the feeder categories and, and do well, there's always that good opportunity there. Otherwise, you've just got to try and get you know sponsors and um, just yeah, try and get in. It's very very tough. There's only 26 blokes, and um, you know, thousands of people in the in the world want to want to do it. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty tough. It's it's not an easy road. You just got to enjoy it, and if you get the results and meet the right people and do the right things, it's you know it's a it's a chance you can you can get there. Um, what have we got now? James asks, "What's my favourite karting track in Australia?" Um, my favourite one's definitely Rally up near Coffs Harbour. Um, that was really cool. I remember racing international races there and. Um, yeah, lots of lots of really cool races. So um, that track is by far the best, uh, the best 
track I've ever raced on. Um, Nicholas has asked, do I post things on this page or is it admins? I think this video shows it's me who posts things. Um, that's why I think doing this, doing this chat, I really love to answer questions and by sitting, pressing buttons and typing words, it could be anyone. So having the video chat, you know it's me. Um, and it's definitely, uh, you know, my wife and I, definitely it's my Facebook page. I wouldn't want other people writing stuff because, um, yeah, it represents who you are, so it should be you who's doing it. Um, what have we got? Luke, have you ever driven a Ford Mustang Super Snake? No, I've never driven one. I wouldn't mind driving one, but uh, maybe not too far away. A couple of years' time, company car would be pretty cool, a Super Snake Mustang, and that would be really cool. Karen has asked, if all cars run to race specs, why is there so much variable speed from pole position at the back of the grid? I think um, that's a good question. The, the cars are so uh, similar, but um, for example, on my car compared to Chaz's car, um, you know, we, we have exactly the same car, but if we have different setups, you achieve the lap time completely different. So uh, it's, yeah, you can do shocks, you can do springs, you can do roll bars, you can do roll sensors, you can do geometry, you can. You can do whatever you want, so um, there's so many things you can change. But uh, end of the day, they all seem to be covered. Like Adelaide was covered by less than a second, the top, or you know, the whole field. So um, so close. It's it's crazy how close it is. Uh, what do we got now? Bozo, Bozo Ben. <laughs> After V8s, what form of motorsport do you want to end up in? F1 or Indy cars? Um, yeah, it's unfortunately you just can't hop out of one into another. I think F1 or Indy cars you have to do when you're when you're young, and that's um, you know the age of 12, 13. You've got to go overseas to try and live the F1 dream. So um, for me, it's it's V8, and then when V8 finish, um, probably just do enduros, and you know with this Brazil racing and stuff, there's stuff around the world that it can potentially do as well, um, you know, sports car races or something, or just retire and be happy. I'm not really sure what I'll do. Clint has asked, what the tattoo under your arm says? I can show you what it says. I won't flex because there's not much there. But, um, it says Austin, so the big A and the, uh, and the Austin. So looks a bit bad, a bit bad school watching it there, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, what have we got? Tristan, would you ever want to drive a triple eight car just to see um, what it's like? Um, it'd be interesting to see what it's like for sure, but I'd rather just uh, drive mine and make mine better and not compare mine to theirs. You know, they uh, they definitely you sometimes you get drawn into a comparison with them, but um, yeah, I'd prefer to, uh, to to try and get mine better than theirs and then make them want to want to drive my car. James said, when you weren't, uh, when you were ask car driver, what was your favourite track and why? Oh, yeah, Rally, I already answered that one, but yeah, Rally was uh, was definitely the best track. Danielle, is your friendship with Wink Cup as bad as it sounds on the media? Um, I don't know, I don't really talk to him much, I don't go to his house, I don't get Christmas cards. <laughs> so probably not very good mates, but unfortunately he's got the better record, so um, he's got the last laugh at the moment. But yeah, I'll try and change that. We're definitely not the best of mates. Craig said, "When and or is Penske Racing taking over FPR?" Um, well, you hear all these rumours, but uh, our team's owned by um, Rod Nash and Rusty French, so they're very successful guys. I don't think they're in a hurry to sell, but. Um, you know, if Penske did get involved, maybe not with our team, but with our sport, it'd be pretty cool to, you know, to have someone like that on board because they've got access to all these sort of things in America and um, could be pretty cool for the sport. Kim's asked, my little boy Casey went up to Wink Cup last year and asked him where Casey Stoner was. He didn't care who Wink Cup was. True story. Wink Cup loved him and his honesty. That's uh, it's good to hear. I hope you found Casey. Shane has asked, what time of 
type of music do I listen to? Um, I like the 80s. I'm pretty old school, so uh, I just downloaded 101 of the best 80s songs. So um, a bit of a dag, but uh, yeah, I love my 80s. Uh, what have we got? Chris, after seeing Jason Bright's crash on the weekend, does it make you worried about the driving standards of some of the guys in the series? And due to the same thing, does it make you feel safer after seeing Brighty walk away? Um, to be honest, I was pretty pretty scared in the car. Not scared, but just worried when you see a guy roll like that and then knowing that you have to roll around and do exactly the same restart about 10 minutes later. Um, I don't, you know, I think the driving standards, if you give a bloke a shopping trolley with an engine, he'll, he'll try and beat you. So, you know, when you've got a rule the way it was, the, the rule was stupid and that's what made the the, uh, the debacle into turn one. I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think the drivers, because, you know, if a guy's got to run on someone, he's going to try and pass you, then, then that, you know, that's what race car drivers do, but making rules promoting that and, and putting you in danger, that's that's what I don't like and yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully that gets changed and um, that will solve a few of the issues. I'm going to answer a couple more and then I'm going to have to go and get my beauty sleep but uh, what have we got? Catherine, do you make sure other drivers are okay after a big crash? Absolutely. The um, After the race I went down and saw Bridie and Bridie's a good friend and a guy that I got a lot of respect for, and um, yeah, I asked on the radio straight away about uh, if he was okay because it looked nasty. And, and when you see the car going up in the air into the catch fence and seeing a uh, a corporate box where bits could have flown off in there, and you know the safety of people was definitely a concern. But um, yeah, after the race, I went and saw him, and he um, he looked the same. He yeah, he was fine. He was actually in pretty good spirits, and um, yeah, it was pretty amazing that he walked away the way he did because um, that was huge. And from the car, it looked it looked like he would be in a pretty bad way. But um, yeah, it was uh, yeah pretty pretty big crash, and I can't believe he walked away the way he did. Um, I'll finish up. I've got a couple more. Um, Jason, what is your daily driver, and is it? modded and do you have any project cars? Um, I've got a GT FPV so um, probably won't have that for much longer unfortunately so uh, I'll probably get the XR8 next but um, Ford supplies with cars which is yeah, which is awesome and we've got a territory as well so um, yeah, you've got the full Ford range. I've got a uh, Malibu ski boat that's my toy. Um, you yeah, don't really have any other car toys. I'm, when the dollar was good, I looked in America to have a look at a few, a few cars. But um, yeah, now the dollar's dropped. It's kind of a bit hard to try and yeah to try and buy a car now because they cost you too much money. And and for us, we get to race V8 supercars, so there's no road car that would give you the pleasure of what our race car does. So um, we're a little bit spoiled. But one day, when I get old and want to tinker in the garage, I'll probably buy something. Um, Catherine's asked who my best friend in V8 supercars is. I don't have many friends. I'm not uh, not that close with a lot of the other drivers. But um, when you talk about who probably you respect the most, um, I'd, I'd say Bright is the most respectable guy. That he's honest. Um, there's a lot of a lot of games that get played in our sport, and uh, yeah, I think you know when you look at guys, Bridie would be the most genuine and trustworthy bloke and you could tell him something and actually trust him with it. So um, there's a lot of acquaintances but uh, not you know, particularly close friends. Um, Darcy's asked how I felt after winning Bathurst. It was awesome. It's still, you know, when I go to my website and watch that video clip, um, you still get emotional watching it. I've got photos that fans have given me. Um, you know, I still watch the race. It was an incredible race, and to win Bathurst is is really obviously an amazing thing. But to do it the way we did it as well, we had to race and push to the end, and um, yeah, just, I think that made it even more special. So um, I'll never never forget it. I can't wait to see the Bathurst T-shirt with our name on the back. That's a pretty cool thing as well, and to lay the plaque up at Bathurst at the race meeting. Um, yeah, that really. 
you keep reliving the moment, so that's a good thing about Bathurst. So I'm going to have to finish up. This is uh, this has been really good. I hope you've all enjoyed it. It's uh, it's a good way to know that you're actually talking to, well, the questions you're asked. Uh, you know, you're getting spoken to by the the person, not by an administrator or something. So um, I'm going to keep doing these and uh, regularly doing these. So um, it's been great to you know see all the questions and um, you know you you guys are all incredible and I want to try and give back. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Come on the website and make sure you keep checking out the website and I'm going to put appearances up. It's on markwinterbottom.com so I'm going to put my appearances up um, and, and obviously the live chats when we're going to do these again. So, um, But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, um, I hope I answered most of the questions. Think of some other ones for next time we chat and uh, have faith. We, um, we're going to come back. You know, It's been tough, tough start. Weekend was a little bit disappointing, but have faith that we'll come back. You know, don't write us off yet. We um, we we definitely can win this championship, and don't judge it off one race. We'll definitely come back. Another thing that is good to do, and and what I really want you guys to do is when you get photos, and uh, uh, you know, I want you to update them on my website. So if if you put them on Instagram and do. Um, hashtag Frosty Fan. You'll see them on my website, and that's what I want to see. I want to see you guys on the website, seeing photos of yourself. Um, you know, and, and interact. It's, I want to have a website that's about you guys, and we can all have boring ones that show our stats and um, you know all those sort of things. But you know, I don't really, you know, all the stats. So everyone knows all that stuff. It's about you guys and trying to interact and trying to give back to everyone. So. Um, yeah, thanks for the chat. Again, hope you enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for some more questions and can't wait to see you all guys at the track and girls and keep answering your questions. See you guys.